Yes, welcome back to Pios Laboratory. So here we hope to teach you repairs both as a hobby and as a business. So on Sunday we repaired a Samsung A21s that had a, a problem with the screen and so I thought I should come and review a few concepts that are involved when it comes to phone screens. Now that having been said, so um, when you look at a phone screen, we are simply talking about uh, two things. One, it is made up of the touch and of the display. So any type of uh, phone screen that you encounter has a touch layer and a display layer. Now this is the layer that uh, reads where you have uh, uh, typed or typed and it's able to inform the phone. And this shows you the images and uh, yeah now to understand the touch uh, we want to tell you that uh, the touch is actually split into two types there's the capacitive and this is the most common in today's phones then there was the resistive these are obsolete in smartphones but find application in other devices um, those kind that you used to have to press using pressure uh, capacitive are more sensitive because they use the concept of capacitance. So at some point in the tutorial series or uh, the physics behind repair, you'll have to learn capacitance. Um, then um, the resistive uh, touch screen simply use resistance because um, the top layer has resistive lines and the lower layer has resistive lines. When you press the uh, top layer, it makes contact with uh, the bottom layer and current flows and that's how it is able to detect. Now, having said that, um, I think I should now talk about the L display layer. Now, the display layer, um, I'll just talk of uh, two types of display, just as I talked of two types of uh, uh, statues. So we have the LCD. LCD is simply abbreviation of uh, liquid crystal display. And then we have the LED, that is basically light emitting diode display so when you look at the lcd the lcd screens um, simply include the uh, liquid crystals now with liquid crystals you need to understand the concept of optics uh, more so light passing through prisms and then um, the liquid crystal display in summary is split into two parts that is the liquid crystal portion itself and then the backlight. Now the backlight is what shines the light that is manipulated by the liquid crystals. The liquid crystals are simply being uh, prisms in liquid form and those can easily be manipulated by applying uh, a voltage across so as to sort of tilt it and uh, you are able to adjust its angle so that it can refract a different color of light at any given point. Now back to displays, remember we had said that uh, we have the liquid crystal and the light emitting diode uh, uh, display technologies. Now um, the light emitting diode uh, display technologies could actually be, um, when we talk of phones, could be split into OLED. OLED, that's simply organic uh, light emitting diode. In other words, uh, the liquid, the, 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 the uh, material used is organic in nature. And uh, then we have the AMOLED. Now AMOLED is simply a variant of the OLED and uh, in full it's uh, the active matrix uh, organic light emitting diode. Um, definitely it goes without saying that we also have the passive um, organic light emitting diode but this is normally common to TVs, those so-called OLED TVs. And then um, we have the um, LEDs. This is common to billboards, more so for concerts. Uh, that's where you will actually see actual bulbs lighting. Now, um, um, I think uh, with that having been said, um, iPhones tend to use the OLED, more so the passive OLED. And then uh, these AMOLEDs are common with Samsung phones, more so uh, the flagship phones. And as such, uh, a much expensive technology so if your phone has any of the OLED or AMOLED uh, screen technologies it's definitely bound to cost far much more with the AMOLED being the most expensive and if you've ever replaced a Samsung flagship screen the S series or the Note series you will testify to this now 
Um, basically, that's the summary of uh, some of the concepts you need to understand if you want to understand the repair of uh, phone screens from first principles. Now, I think uh, since uh, the, we were working on the Samsung uh, um, A21S, uh, this one simply uses, uh, I think I've run out of space, but uh, let me just come within view. Okay, will I get there? I think I'll have to fold my lecture material into half and then return on screen. Bear with me. By the way, now is the time that you should hit the subscribe button because I hope to start teaching the physics behind our repairs. Uh, immediately we hit 100 subscribers and uh, that should be soon. So share with someone so we start off on a high note. Right now I'm just highlighting uh, concepts that you would have encountered in a screen replacement such as the other one. Ours having been an LCD uh, screen, that's basically a liquid crystal display with uh, a touch layer on top. And uh, in brief, to understand the liquid crystal display, you will need to understand the concept of optics, uh, that is to deal with light, and then how prisms play around with light. Now with prisms, in our case of the liquid crystal display, well, we have uh, crystals. These are basically miniature prisms that are sort of like in liquid-like substrate. And when you apply a voltage uh, across uh, uh, the liquid crystal in a confined uh, container, it tilts. And when it tilts, any light passing through will be reflected based on the amount of uh, tilt that the prism has. And so you will also need to understand in optics uh, the concept of refraction and dispersion of white light. In other words, I think if you've ever done a practical on prisms, you will notice that white light can be split into the seven colors of the rainbow, or you could call it the spectrum, uh, the visible spectrum. I say rainbow because it's easier to relate with, but uh, there are far many more colors than just seven. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching our videos. Uh, we remain in Pure's laboratory, simply hoping to teach you how to repair as a hobby and as a business so you should be able at the end of this to be able to fix uh, electronics um, uh, home appliances those are uh, electricals um, yeah so culminating into phones laptops smartphones uh, tvs um, etc just hit the subscribe button we need to hit a uh, hundred subscribers I wanted to set this target at 1,000, but then I thought uh, the earlier I start teaching you guys, the more you will benefit. So, Opios Laboratory, see you in the next video.